Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up my QNAP cloud. So this is going to allow us to access all of our files and information remotely without being connected to our local network on our NAS. If you want to find out how to set up a QNAP in the first place, then make sure to follow the link in the description. We're going to be assuming that you have logged into your NAS and now we're going to be setting up my QNAP cloud. So the first thing we're going to do is to make sure we use QFinder Pro and then we open up our NAS. And once we are logged in, we're going to click on this three line button here and then we're going to click on my QNAP Cloud. So once my QNAP Cloud has been opened up here, we're going to go ahead and get started on this button here. And I'm going to follow this setup wizard. So we need to create and sign in to a QNAP ID, register our NAS, and then enable my QNAP Cloud remote access services. So here we're going to press start. And what we're going to do now is to enter our QNAP ID and password. If you haven't done this already, then create a QNAP ID here. So now what I'm going to do is to give our QNAP Cloud a device name. And just be aware that any name that you choose is going to be kind of the alias we're going to be using for the quick link as well. So try and make this unique and easy to type. I'm going to leave all of these settings by default. Uh, I think it's a good balance of accessibility and privacy. Here we're going to press next and it's now registering our device to my QNAP Cloud. So here we're going to press the finish button. So now that we're done here, we can test out my QNAP link. So what I'm going to do is to test this out. My smart URL here says Andrew Titus, which is my alias name. And what I'm going to do is to open up a new incognito window just to show that we don't need to be logged in in order for this to work. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this web address here by clicking this button and press copy. Then I'm going to go to my incognito window and then paste. So once I've clicked on the link, I'm going to press the sign in button and then I'm going to sign in with my QNAP account, which is connected to my QNAP account. So now we're logging into this test account. So here it's saying that we have some link instructions, just saying that it's going to be a little bit slow because it's going through a my QNAP cloud server. Press OK. So now we can see my QNAP one as if I'm connected locally. Just type in your username and password. So you can see here we're logged in via web address, but we can see the various files and all the stuff here. So if you wanted to, I could download a file here. So let's go to recordings. Let's grab a file from here. Let's grab a file from one of my videos. Let's say I want to get this uh, screenshot here. I can right click and then press download. And I've downloaded the PNG remotely. So basically this allows us to do remote access. I could be in a completely different country or city and I could access this using the exact same method using my QNAP Cloud. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.